Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial. This is uh, to cover how to configure real flight with SimStick. Now uh, you physically have to connect it in a certain way and we have described that on the website so take a look on the page for real flight and that describes it fully. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to start it up. Before you actually start it up make sure you've turned off your controller that you plan to use um, with a uh, real flight so obviously you've got to plug in um, the sim stick and your real flight controller but I've got a DX7 that I'm going to use and that's turned off at the moment now the, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to register the real flight controller with real flight and you do need to do this to make sure that the reset works and you can press the space bar to reset on on here so if I push the um, push the reset button if you look down here it's come up saying controller has been validated so that's good next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the controller options or the controller f uh, file menu and then go down and then look what's available at the moment interlink elite which is the real flight controller at this stage I'm going to switch on the DX7 make sure the switches are far away here and then I'm going to go up to controller select controller and see what happens Ah, okay so what this is now done this is recognized the uh, DX7 here and I'm gonna select it so that's fine and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to controller calibration you only need to do this I think once really I've only had to do this once the next we're gonna go to controller channel mapping and then we're going to assign the correct controls to the contract, cor um, correct inputs from the DX7 or from your transmitter. Make sure it flies properly. So the first channel we need to do is the roll, which is aileron. And if I push left, that's going the wrong way. So I'm going to reverse that. That's fine. Um, the second channel we need to make sure is not pitch. It's actually going to be throttle and uh, I'm not going to reverse that that seems good so at the bottom and then there's the top and um, then the next channel is pitch which is elevator and that looks correct to me the next channel is rudder if I push left on the rudder here that's going incorrectly so I'm going to reverse that channel there you go uh, the next that's the all main four channels channel 5 this is the key one actually we need to go down and to channel to set it to channel seven. Uh, so it needs to be smoke. Don't ask me why. I don't really understand it, but it works. So they're fine. Channel six we don't really worry about. So I think you can just pretty much leave those where they are. Click OK. So we're nearly ready to fly it. And the only thing that we need to mention those two things. First of all, set set up a idle up curve in your transmitter you're not sure how to do that then there's plenty of information out there you can go on the forums your instructions probably contain information on how to do that for your radio itself but just post the question if you're a beginner and you're not sure how to do that ask out on the forums there's going to be plenty of information there and the other thing that you might want to do is, is um, set up a throttle hold switch and, and set the settings for that in your radio is this exactly the same as you would do for a real heli so just treat it that way right I'm just gonna test the heli now make sure it works I've got the sound off guys because this is all quite loud um, it's quite loud otherwise while I'm talking so let me just quickly fire it up switch into idle up so that's good and here we go Now the uh, the the setup for this, once you've actually got it set up in uh, in real flight, um, it's pretty pretty easy from then on. You just switch on, and 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 play just like you would if you were using Phoenix or any of the other packages. So whilst you have got the controller to to deal with, and unfortunately it is a little bit more bulky, it does work very well. All right then. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the tutorial and get back to us if there's any more questions that you have specifically about the setup